All right, and they each have their names uh, included. I'm not going to write those down, but it asks you to write it in equality for the elevations in the lowlands. So for the first part, the lowlands is this section right here. So we know that it's going to go from 0 to 500. And, and if you look at the, in, the, the uh, problem itself, the last sentence says, assume each range includes the lower elevation but not the higher. So really, each of these includes the lower but not the higher. So if we were to place interval notations on all of these, okay, so that's kind of the, the notations of the inclusion exclusion that are counted. So the zero is included, but the top, the 500, is not. The 500 is actually included in the next level up. Okay, so this would be your first answer. Okay, B, it asks you write an inequality for elevations in the alpine and subalpine. So that's these two. Okay, and so if you look at that, the lowest limit is 1,400. The highest limit is 2,429. You uh, include the lower limit for this, but you do not include the upper limit. And so that would be your interval notation for B. And then finally C, it says write an inequality for elevations not in this. Okay, so you want the ones that are not included in this. So when you look at this, uh, the, in this uh, interval below, so again, we're going to have a, a union of sets here, several intervals. In this bottom one, we're going from 0 to 500. Okay, so 0 is included. Now, is 500 in the set or no? 500 is part of this level, so is that going to be included in the set that's not in that level? No, so it's going to be a parenthesis at 500. And then we're going to have another interval here uh, with a lower limit of 1,400, and then an upper limit of 24, 29. Right? And so when you look at that, uh, the, in the elevations that are not in this, so is 1,400 considered not in this section here? Yeah, 1400 exists up here, so it's it is correct. There's a, a bracket. It includes this 1400. So you're probably going to use uh, parentheses here 